Hi guys, this tutorial is to go over how to use uh, one of the PDF form fillable features that Home Inspector Pro has. Specifically in this example, we're going to be discussing the wind mitigation template. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is to upload the wind mitigation template from the desktop to the cloud and down to your mobile device. Um, there's other tutorials on how to upload, upload templates, so we won't cover that here. Once the template is on your device, you will select it from your available templates. You can give the inspection a name just like you normally would and click on create. <clears throat> this template here is only the wind mitigation template. You can merge this template into your normal residential template. We have quite a few inspectors that have merged not only their wind mit template in, but they've merged their four point into their main residential as well. For simplicity's sake, uh, at this time, we'll just include the, the wind mitigation template by itself when we're discussing this. There's two sections here <clears throat> in the template. The first one is wind mitigation. That has all the uh, items that you're gonna select that's gonna populate the report. The second thing is wind mit photos. This is very simple. You click wind mit photos. And at the bottom here, you can click on the camera to take your photos. You can even include a video if you wanted to. And there's a bunch of pre-populated caption comments that are on here so that you can caption any of those uh, photos as well. But just like normal, you click on the camera icon there and you will take your photographs. I'm going to go back here to the main wind mitigation section. Okay, this section here is set up to emulate the report um, flow exactly. So just like the, the physical form would be, it's got property owner info, qualified inspector, building code, roof coverings, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to jump over here to building code, which is the first item. And the options here emulate what is on the form. So under building code, you have a 1A, 1B, 1C, a permit application date, and a year built. The text within the brackets, those are known normally as our notes. That is how the, um, the form is populated. So if I select 1A and it's highlighted, when this goes back to the desktop, Home Inspector Pro will note that 1A is selected and it's gonna check the box for 1A. The actual text that's here under 1A, 1B, 1C, you can actually change that. If, if you wanna rewrite the text after the note field because it'll make more sense to you or make more sense to uh, your employees, that are working for you, you can certainly do that. I'm gonna select one C, it's gonna check in the report. With things like, uh, that are actually a, a text field, like the permit application date, I can click on the permit application date, I can type in the date, and let's go ahead and save that. And that's gonna, I'm gonna select it, and now that's what it's gonna populate directly into the permit application date field. Uh, on the bottom, just like normal, we have a forward and backwards, so I can click on forward and I go through, I'm going to say roof coverings, I have 2A, asphalt shingles, yes. If I want to put in a permit application date, I would simply edit that and continue going. Uh, with each of these items I go through, I'm just going to use the forward and backwards arrows. And you can see that um, it's going to take me through concrete tiles, metal, built up, membranes. Anytime I want, I can just edit a comment. and then select that so that comment is populated on the report. This is how you'll go through the entire inspection. Literally going through, selecting each item and how you want it checked directly within the report. Uh, when you get down to your opening protection where it has all the check boxes, you'll notice it has opening protection and then it lists out in all the notes. So windows or entry doors, true. Um, you know, or is it windows or entry doors, B. Now, Again, you can add more information here instead of the word true if you wanted to. All that Home Inspector Pro cares about is that note field that's in blue and whether it's selected or not. Down with garage doors, I'll put NA. Go to the next one, opening protection, exterior missiles, um, non-glazed openings classified. Any of the items here I can go through. Right here, it has the property uh, owner information. It's got a little note at the top just to kind of remind you, but you're just gonna edit these fields to put in the contact person's name, uh, the county that they're in. You can click and select, you know, change the county if you want from the drop-down list. Put in their uh, insurance company, their policy number, and continue on. Once you're done with this, you notice it's uh, highlighting the items that I've selected in gray. That way I've known those are the ones I've done. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna go back to sync. I'm going to upload 
and I'm gonna select that inspection and upload it to the cloud just as I normally would. Now back on the desktop, I'm gonna go to Mobile Sync and I'm gonna download that inspection and I called it Smith, here it is. Once I download the inspection, I'm gonna open the inspection. I'm running a, a lower resolution on my screen just so you guys can see everything kind of large. Um, so I'll probably scroll here a little bit more than you guys would. But once you've opened that inspection, if you look at it, if I go to wind mitigation, you'll notice that it has the exact same things that I selected over on mobile. I can make modifications here if I want to, just like I could a normal template. Uh, photos, if I added any photos, I didn't take any this time, but those would all show up here on the photos page. Now, this is the important part. Go to insert PDF documents, click fill and print form. This is our template wind mitigation. So you have to fill and print and you're gonna click on populate form. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna go through and it's gonna check automatically all the boxes that were selected on the mobile device. Uh, on quite a few of these forms, you'll see that we have a variable in there already. The variables could be changed, but it's already set up for the WinMit. But basically things like inspection date, owner information, that's gonna pull from the client info uh, screen in HIP. So you could have put that information directly into client info on HIP Mobile. You can import it from HIP Office. You can import it from ISN. You can import it from Next Inspect and that information would populate. So these things with the variable names in there, there's really no reason to, to have to change those because they're gonna populate from the client information tab. You'll notice the other things, building code. Um, it, this is just how we're mapping. And again, this is already preset for the templates that are already in HIP. But basically it's saying the section on building code, it's mapped to the wind mitigation building code tab. In the report, we selected 1A, we put in a permanent application date and we checked a few other boxes as I was going through there. Um, what you'll want to do at the very bottom is make sure under inspector name, license type, license or certification number, you've entered that. Uh, if you check this box right here, you can actually change that to be a static value and that way it'll save it and you save it to your template. Uh, those inf that information will all save. So I can click on save form now and I'm going to generate the report. Now this is the most important part. We do not want to check the wind mitigation box here. We don't, if we check the wind mitigation box, it's actually going to include a normal HIP style template wind mitigation section. That's not what we have. What we have in this case is a PDF that we're form filling. The only thing that needs to be checked here is the wind mit photos, because that's going to attach another section at the end of the report that has all the photographs or videos that you've included directly into that template. If you are merging this with your residential inspection, you can include that PDF at the end. You can also turn the report off and print the, the wind mitigation template instead. Uh, either way, you'd want to do that. I'm going to go ahead now and generate this PDF. Just to kind of show you that it's going to populate. You can set up a custom cover page if you wanted to for the, uh, the wind mitigation template. It could be part of your residential again. Uh, you can really set that up however you want. All right, so I didn't have a photo there, otherwise the cover photo would have appeared. The end result is gonna be the exact citizen's wind mitigation report. Notice uniform mitigation verification. It's got the inspection date that I had put in. It's got a few of the options that I had already checked. I had checked uh, 1A and 1C. I had put in a, uh, a year built directly in there. I had checked a few options off on number two and I had put in a, a year of original installment. So all of these fields will automatically fill out. Uh, the inspector's initials, so you can enter the initials in Home Inspector Pro under report settings and options. And then also at the very end, you also have um, initials and the client's or the homeowner's signature. So the, this, that signature can come from HIP Mobile uh, under the client info tab at the bottom, there's a place for the client to sign and they can sign directly on there. Any photos that are attached would show here in the back under the WinMit photos section. So that's the, the short version of how to use the wind mitigation uh, template within Home Inspector Pro 6. 
Um, the exact same uh, format is used for the four point inspection, uh, for the risk certification form, for also the, the WDO forms, the other things that uh, are being released as well. If you have any questions on this, please contact us at help at homeinspectorpro.com. You can give us a call at 888-750-4777 or just jump on live chat on our website and we'd be happy to help you out.